Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel or if you're new, thanks for clicking on my video. So we already know, since I'm smiling this big, what kind of video this is going to be. I know you saw the title, but yes, we have another haul. And yes, it is from the cosmetics company store. So, this is our bag, she big. We did a little damage. This is a lot worse than the last one. It just, it's hard because these trips are so hit and miss. You never know what you're going to find. So when I find good stuff, I buy it. I love getting a good deal. I love a sale. We already know this. This is the theme of my channel. If you can get it on sale, why not? Say it with me. So I'm going to show you guys everything that I picked up. But before I do, got to get the intro out the way. If you are new to this channel and it's your first time watching, I would love to have you join the family. So please hit that subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so you know when I upload. We do a lot of hauls. We do a lot of shopping. We do tutorials. We do reviews. So lots of makeup stuff with some fitness sprinkled in. I'm not going to keep you guys waiting. If you want to see what is in this big old bag, then stay tuned and keep on watching. All right, so I will start off by saying I think this was two trips. One of them was pretty big. And then the other one was just a few things that I found randomly and I decided to pick up. This is a big bag because I found some fragrances and we all know how expensive perfumes can be. So yeah, if you can get that on sale, you better hurry up and grab it, especially if it's something you know you're really gonna like. I've talked about this before real quick, but if you're not aware, the cosmetics company store is basically an outlet for high-end makeup. I always go in and check whenever I'm in the area because one, it's not close to me. And two, like I said, it's hit or miss. So you don't know what they're going to have on what days you can call and ask. But if you're not looking for anything in particular, then it's kind of hard to call and say, Hey, what do you have? I'm just going to reach to the bag and let y'all know what I got. I don't think I have the receipts in here, but just know most of this stuff was at least 40 to 60% off. So yes, definitely worth the drive. First thing I got, this was actually a free gift. I remember this is the Clinique Moisture Surge 72 hour auto replenishing hydrator. I have used this before. I really like this. I feel like it's not a primer or anything, but I feel like it really helps to smooth my skin and it looks good under makeup. So I will wear this during the day or at night. The next thing I picked up is this Becca Ultimate Coverage 24 Hour Foundation. I do have this already. And I think the shade that I picked up before, I also got from either Marshalls or TJ Maxx or the cosmetics company store. I didn't pay full price for it, but I don't think the shade was a match for me. This is in the shade Espresso. This is what the packaging looks like. You guys have seen this before. I did not swatch this. I thought I did, but I'm gonna go ahead. I swatched it in the store, that's what it was, but I'm just gonna pump out a pump real quick and let you guys see if it ever decides to come out. What it, there it goes, looks like. So there you can see a little drop right there. It is not runny at all. Mm. This one, <laughs> this isn't a little dark, but it's summertime. I'm about to get my tan on because your girl is tired of being, this is not, this is light for me. I just like being a little more bronze. So this is nothing new. We already know Barbara buys dark foundations. The next thing I picked up is this Too Faced Lip Injections Extreme Instant Long-Term Lip Plumper. I will tell y'all right now, I used this already. It didn't do anything at all. It tingled. It made it feel like, like it smells like cinnamon and it made my lips feel like they were tingling. But as far as like instant plumping and my lips feel like they're real big and all that, no. If I had to purchase it again, I wouldn't, but I tried it. I'm going to use it, but it didn't do anything. The next thing I picked up is this Smashbox, the Hood Witch Crystallized Always On Liquid Eyeshadow. I've never tried these. 
I do like liquid eyeshadows. I don't use them a lot on my channel, but I really use them mostly for glam looks. This is in the shade Dream Prism. And this is what it looks like. Absolutely gorgeous. Kind of like a pinkish purple lilac, but it has a blue reflect in it. And I love the packaging. This crystal at the top. Yep. Why is this so dry though? Did I get a bad one? Like I'm swirling this around. I don't know if you guys can see. I'm swirling this around and you can see the product moving. But when I pull it out, there is nothing on this brush at all. Absolutely nothing. And this is what's coming off on my hand. I don't think that's supposed to be like that. So I'm probably gonna try to pull the stopper out and see, cause I don't know if this is just really dry or what's going on, but I don't think that's supposed to be like that. If it is, that sucks. Because I thought these were gonna be more like the Stila, liquid shadows or any other liquid eyeshadow that any other company makes. This is not the tea at all. This is not good if that's how this really is. The next thing I picked up is the Too Faced Born This Way Super Coverage Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. I do have this already and I have it in the shade Butterscotch. And I feel like, okay, we all know how I like to wear my concealer 50 shades of light. It's usually really light for me. It all comes together, but it's always really light. Butterscotch is almost like a, it's not an everyday wear, but it's not a glam either. It's like an in-between. So I wanted one that was a little lighter. This is in the shade Warm Sand. And we all know this is what the packaging looks like. And I'll go ahead and swatch this. Yeah, see, that's what I'm talking about. That's my kind of color. So that's what it looks like right there. Yes, she is light and that is what I like. So I always wanted to pick up another one of these, but I didn't want to pay full price for it. So this was perfect. Another free gift, another Clinique Moisture Surge. I did get two of these. Um, the lady who worked at the store was actually really nice. And she was like, you know, if I split up your purchases, you can get more than one free gift with purchase because you have so much stuff. Do you want to do that? Girl, is that a real question? Of course I do. So that's why I ended up with two of these. So I will now, I don't think I have a full size. So I'll put one in my bathroom, one in my skincare backup drawer. The next thing I picked up is this MAC Cosmetics. This is their Extended Play Perm Me Up Lash Mascara. It says curl holds for 16 hours. It comes in this blue tube like this blue outer packaging but then it slides out like that y'all let me know if y'all have tried this before i thought this was the giga play lash mascara which i've heard is really good for your bottom lash line um so that's why i picked it up and then now i know it's not i'm gonna go ahead I, i'm gonna open it okay no so the giga play has a really small wand this one's not big like super huge I can do my bottom lashes like that with this but this is not what I thought it was I'm gonna see because it might actually be good I like mascaras that are volumizing first and then add length because I don't have a lot of lashes so it does me no good just for my lashes to look super long but I have like three of them I will keep you posted on how this works but might be good might not I don't know y'all comment and let me know if you've tried this before this was also another free gift. This is the Estee Lauder New Intense Reset Concentrate. This is basically just a nighttime serum and it says it helps your skin. If your skin feels unbalanced, is in need of a reset, this intensive rescue treatment works dynamically to help strengthen its natural ability to respond to aggressive environmental stressors. Whatever, whatever, boost clarity and radiance. That's what I needed. So it says use at night after your repair serum. So it's not the original repair serum, it's to use afterwards. Skincare is expensive, so when you can get it for free, yes, right there. I actually picked up, oh, I did get four. <laughs> These were only like $4. These are the Smashbox The Mindful Five. These are basically just a lip oil, but they were on sale for $4. So I picked up a few of them. I am gonna put one in a future giveaway. And then I got one for Janet and then two for me because I use stuff like this every day. So 
actually what happened with this and the girl didn't even tell me i was kind of mad so i don't know what the dollar amount was but she was like oh well it ended up only charging you for three of these and you got a free lip product well come to find out because when she rang up the rest of the stuff she was like hey you can get another free lip product do you want to go grab something and I was like, oh, okay, what's the restriction? She said, no restri restriction. You can grab any lip product you want. Why you didn't tell me that the first time? You let me ring up this little $4 lip oil when I could have went and grabbed something else that was more expensive, which is exactly what I did the second time she asked me. So she kind of got me on that first one, but I got them on the second one. And I will show y'all what I got. It has five wellness benefits, moisturize all day and over time, visibly plump, soften, prep for lip color, and conditions this is what i picked up when she said go grab you another lip color this is the tom ford lip color matte your girl now has a tom ford lipstick i picked up the shade number 34 wicked ways and i have two of them on the second trip they had these the first one i got for free the second one, I saw it and I was like, oh, I want a Tom Ford lipstick and they're 60% off. And then I was like, crap, I can't remember what color I bought. And I was like, I don't think I bought this one though because it looks a lot darker than what I would normally buy. No, it's the exact same thing. So one of these is gonna go in a giveaway for you guys. And then the other one is gonna be mine. So I'm gonna go ahead and open one of them just to show you. Love the packaging, we already know. But this is such a gorgeous, like brownish red. It looks really dark. And I was like, there's no way I would have bought that originally. Yes, there is. Because you did. And now you have two. I started to exchange it because you can't get refunds. But you can exchange. But I was like, you know what? I love my subs. So I'm going to go ahead and keep it and give one to them. I did pick up some more Tom Ford products because they had a lot of stuff. This was new because I had never seen these. This is the Tom Ford Extreme Eyeshadow. This is in the shade 13, TFX 13. I had never seen these. These are single shadows. And I was like, do you really need this? Is it really worth it? I'm so glad they're loosening up and letting people swatch stuff now because I wasn't going to get this. First of all, this packaging. This thing even has a little mirror in it, y'all. But look at this shade. You know what's crazy? I just realized this reminds me of the shade in Pretty Baby. I wonder if it's the same. I have to check, hold on. All right, let's see. Oh, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and swatch them just because, but yeah, that looks pretty similar. So Pretty Baby here versus the extreme shade here. Let's swatch them. So this is Pretty Baby. They feel similar. Y'all, it's almost the same. And then this top one right here is the Extreme Single. Is that the same shade? Am I tripping? Tell me what you guys think. Tell me what you see. I feel like it's the same. <laughs> That's what happens when you impulse shop. I don't regret getting it because honestly, I love the shade and I got the Pretty Baby eyeshadow quad for that shade. And so now I have a backup if I ever run out. I have another lipstick. I picked up more of a nude shade. This is also by Tom Ford in the same matte formula. And this is shade number 100 EQUUS. I'm not going to try to pronounce that because I have no idea. Same packaging as the one from earlier. And as you can see, I can't tell if this looks like it's swatched, but the lipstick looks like, I don't know what's up with that. Whatever, I got it. I like the shade, it is a little lighter. Go ahead, I didn't swatch the other one, but I'll swatch this one since it's already messed up. Yeah, this is like my everyday shade right here, which is why I picked it up and I didn't think I got the darker one. Honestly, I think I just forgot that I got it. So gorgeous shade. This is like an everyday color for me. So happy that I was able to get that. The next thing I picked up is this Tom Ford Sheer Highlighting Duo. Honestly, I saw this and I was just like, ooh, what's that? Because I've never seen these before in here. 
this, I hope my fingers aren't dirty, comes in this cute little white pouch. And then this white and gold packaging. Y'all know this is why you pay so much money for high-end stuff, for the packaging, right? Because we've already talked about how some of these formulas you can find in drugstore, but look at how gorgeous this is. Two highlighters. I'm gonna swatch them both. This one's called Reflex Guilt. Oh yeah, I swatched these in the store and I was like, yup. So that's the more gold shade and then there's a more pinky shade here. Beautiful. I do have another highlighter in the, it's the Sculpt and Shade or Shade and Sculpt, whatever it's called, but it has a bronzer and a highlighter and it's more gold than the one here. So they are all different, thank goodness. But I just thought the packaging on this was gorgeous and I love the shades of the highlighter. So I grabbed it. Next, I have two products from Bobbi Brown and then we're gonna move on to the fragrance items. The first thing I picked up is this Crushed Liquid Lip. This is in the shade Ambra, Amber. It's A-M-B-R-E. Looks like this. I do have one of these already, but the one that I have is a bit lighter. No, it's darker and it's a little more red. I can't remember the color. I'll put it on the screen, but this would probably look really good with what I have on right now. This is what the shade looks like in the packaging. It looks a lot darker. Oh, that is such a gorgeous chocolate brown. That is darker than I thought it was. I'm gonna go ahead and darken this up. I love these because it's almost like a, it kind of reminds me of like the Anastasia Beverly Hills glosses that are really opaque. This feels more like a gloss than it does a lipstick, but I love the formula of these. The next thing I picked up is Bobbi Brown has single eyeshadows. I don't have any of them. This is the Lux Eyeshadow Rich Sparkle. These are pretty big eyeshadows. This is in the shade Volcanic. I wasn't gonna pick this up. I saw it and I was like, oh, that's cute. And then I swatched it and it went in the bag. Packaging is gorgeous. Look at how sparkly that is. It does have a, look at that. Y'all know purple, if you don't know, purple is my favorite color. I'm gonna go ahead and swatch it. I swatched it and that's what got me in the store. That is what she looks like. Super rich pigmented color. It's kind of chunky, but I love that it has that bit of glitter in it that gives it that sparkle. So pretty. And then even after I swatch it, look how much is still on my finger. All right, and last but not least, we are moving into fragrances. I finally found my Tom Ford perfume. I don't know what it is and when I found it, it was hilarious because I made the comment in the store that I thought all Tom Ford perfumes, fragrances stunk. I don't know if I said stink, but I said they don't smell good and the guy, a random shopper in the store looked like I told him his mama was ugly. He was like, what? I said what I said. I don't like how they smell. Now I will say that a lot of times, I've said this before, I've sprayed stuff on me, I don't like the initial smell, then when it dries down, I like it. I think that's the case with Tom Ford, but I ain't got all day to be waiting for it to dry down. I want it to smell good the minute I spray it. This is Venetian Bergamot. Now I already knew that I love Bergamot from other fragrances that I have, so I was praying that this smelled good. Huge bottle, so excited, and the smell. It is sweet. It is a lot sweeter than anything else I wear, but it smells so good. Like this, I smell, I like. I put it in the bag. Everything else, I don't wanna have to spray and wait and see. I'm gonna tell you guys what the other notes say. Hold on a second, let me look it up. Yeah, see, this is interesting. It says that it is a woody, spicy fragrance for women and men. It was launched in 2015. Top notes are bergamot, ginger, black pepper, and pink pepper. Middle notes are gardenia. That's the sweet I'm smelling. I don't know what this word is. Lang Lang, Y-L-A-N-G. 
um, magnolia, cedar, and pepperwood, or Hercules Club, whatever that means, and the base notes, sandalwood, cashmere, tonka bean, and amber. So many of these notes I have mentioned in other fragrance videos that I love, so I just, it makes sense that this was a yes for me, and I'm glad because I got a big bottle, it's gonna last a long time, and it's different from what I normally wear. This next fragrance though, <laughs> yes, I got two. I was just so excited because like I said, I haven't found a Tom Ford fragrance that I thought fit me well, and then I smelled this one next, and I was like, I don't wanna have to choose, I want them both. This is Tom Ford White Suede. I'm going to tell you the notes on this one, but y'all, this one I like more. I'm not even going to lie. This one says it is a floral woody musk. The top notes are thyme and tea. Middle notes are lily of the valley, saffron and rose. The base notes are suede, musk, sandalwood, amber, and olibanum. Never heard of that. This, y'all, this is a smaller bottle. It will, I feel like this was, both of these were expensive. They're Tom Ford, but this bottle, y'all know she's going in the front of the display. This to me smells a little powdery. You smell the musk, you smell the amber, you smell the sandalwood. I don't know. This is not like anything that I have and I just feel like it smells so sultry and sexy. This is a special occasion. The Venetian Bergamot I can wear not every day, but like that'll be like an early dinner date. This is I'm going out. I want everybody to smell me when I pass by because I smell expensive. So now we're moving on. I think the rest of the stuff that I have is from Joe Malone. I finally got not a big one, but I got a small size of the Wood Sage and Sea Salt. I told you guys that I've had small sizes of this one. I love the way this smells. And it's so weird because I'm finding that I'm, I'm starting to get into more woody fragrances. But you got to be careful because I don't like patchouli. I don't. I think it smells like herbs and grass. And I don't like to smell like that. This one, I don't know what it is that makes this one so different. It says that it has a bit of a marine kind of scent and like my Mac Turquatic, I love marine scents like that. So that's probably what it is. It says this one is, it says this one is composed of ambret seed, sea salt and sage, along with red algae and grapefruit. This definitely smells more like daytime clean, kind of beachy. I would wear this more like for work and daytime stuff versus nighttime, but I think it smells amazing. This one, I said I wasn't gonna buy. I said I wasn't gonna buy it because I thought it was gonna be too similar to something else I have. But when I saw it in the store and I saw the discounts, yes, I needed it. This is the Joe Malone Red Hibiscus Cologne Intense. This smells so good and I said I wasn't gonna get it because I thought it reminded me of my Nest Sunkissed Hibiscus. It's not the same. It is not the same, but this smells so good. And it was more expensive than their normal fragrances because this one is an intense version, so it lasts longer. This was 40% or 50% off, I don't know, but it was worth at that point, I was like, yeah, you might as well go ahead and get it. Absolutely amazing. I'm going to tell you all the notes real quick. Top note is Mandarin Orange. Middle note, Jasmine Sambac, which I remember talking about before. There's that Lang Lang word again. And Hibiscus with a base note of vanilla. So it is a little sweet. It doesn't have that musky smell like I normally like, but... I think this still smells sexy. There's something about it that just smells like inviting and warm but still floral the last two items are more for the house not for me i picked up another diffuser this is the peony and blush suede i've said that wrong so many times i have this perfume i love this perfume and when i saw the diffuser it was not even a question 
I have not decided where I'm gonna put this because this is definitely going to be like, I don't know. I don't know if I want this in the beauty room or what, probably so. Right now I have the Silk Blossom in here. I like it, but when I walk in, I don't feel like it hits me like that. Ooh, yes, it smells good in here. It's just like, oh, that's nice. No, I want, ooh, what is that? I wanna have it. So I'm probably gonna put this one in my beauty room and move the other maybe to my office. I don't know yet, but this is one of my favorite Jo Malone fragrances. So I got the diffuser now. And then last but not least, I picked up another candle. This is also by Jo Malone. And this is the Wood Sage and Sea Salt Candle. Y'all, I was just, I was so excited because I had not seen that much Jo Malone stuff in the store. And so I was just like, ooh, let me see. Ooh, let me get. So I already know, we've already talked about how clean, aquatic, this smells amazing. Don't know where I'm going to put it. Probably not going to light it a lot, but... When I want to smell something good, cozy, maybe relaxing on the sofa or in the tub, this is what I'm going to use. And I just reached the bottom of the bag and found another product. <laughs> we, I thought I got this. I got another Bobbi Brown eyeshadow because I was so excited about that purple one. This is the same brand, same type as the purple one that I just showed you guys, but this is in the shade Incandescent. So same packaging. But I did use this one already. I ain't even gonna lie, I had to. I think I swatched it and then I was like, I need to put it on. This color is everything. This reminds me because it's a duo chrome. You see it kind of goes gold green there and then straight on it looks almost pink. Oh, this is so gorgeous. Y'all, look at that. The way that color flips. Y'all know how I am about multi-chromes. That green gold right there, but then when you look at it straight, you see pink. I low-key wish I would have picked up two of them. I know I don't need it. Don't tell me that, I know. But stuff like this, I'm just like, I buy it and then I'm like, I don't wanna use it because what if I run out? But then you don't use it and you don't run out and it expires. Silly, silly, silly. But this color is absolutely gorgeous and I'm so glad I got it. All right guys, so that is the end of my haul video. Was the end of my haul video. One more item. You wanna say hi? Hi. <laughs> what is, just open it. Hide our address. I don't know what this is. Did this just come or you been hiding it? I've been hiding. We have love notes. Mm -hmm. Am I reading these now? You can read them. Really? This will tell you. I mean, you can edit all this out. <laughs> okay, so we have a thing that we've had this go round of dating. I haven't <laughs> told our story yet. I will. But I have a little jar. You want to grab a jar? Yeah. I have a jar that she gives me these little notes on special occasions. And so I have a jar that is in my beauty room that I have been keeping them in. So they usually come on anniversaries or month bursaries, whatever you want to call them. But so this is five. She's deliberate about how she does this. Do I need to open this in any order? Mm, I think it's okay. Okay, so the first one says, you complete me. And then it says, will. The second one says, the best thing about me is you, my Shannon crown. You are not. This says you. I'm not playing with you. Always and forever you will be my heart. I hate her. Is this gonna focus? If I know what love is, it's because of you.
Why do you think I would edit this out? A lifetime is a long time, but it is too short to spend with you. If you ask me, I'm ready. Forever 21. And my handwriting is terrible. I apologize for that. Are you serious? Why wouldn't I be serious? <laughs> Are you going to answer? Are you serious? <laughs> Are you going to answer? Oh, she's messed with me before. I'm very serious. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. This is for you. <laughs> You're shaking. Shut up, because this is real. <laughs> yeah. It's a little too small, but... Look at uh, me. Oh, okay. I'm trying not to shake. Shut up! Why do you? <laughs> it's for real. Get out of here! You're going to California. Well, I came back for you. Oh, shut up! <laughs> it's, a, it's a real ring. It's a real ask. Why wouldn't it be real? I don't know because of how you just did this. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. I'm engaged. <laughs> Wow. Guys, that's it for this video. I have on my limited edition shirt. Come. Because <laughs> I'm a Hold limited on. edition. Let me scoot this way. Oh, Lord. All right, so. I'm short. <laughs> yeah. So, anyway. Janet's been in one video. We've been talking about doing a video and then we just haven't done it yet. And so we have had the conversation about like how to propose. And before I gave her a bunch of shit because I was like, don't embarrass me. Don't make a big scene in front of a bunch of people. I'm shy. Don't ask in front of my friends. Don't do this. Don't do that. And then she was like, are you sure you want me to ask you? Like, what are we talking about here? <laughs> so once before she said, when we were here i don't know how she asked me but we were like just sitting down eating dinner one random friday night and she was like well what if i asked you right now and i was like bro stop playing like this is not <laughs> this a bro stop playing. i literally did i was like that's not real this is not a real proposal but next time do better and she was just like what if i was serious though so i was like you're not though so whatever so that's why i'm acting <laughs> my nails ain't even done. I thought your nails were done because you're doing a video. I know, but I gotta wrap my knees tomorrow. Okay. I'm That's gonna have a picture, y'all. <laughs> That's not my fault. I assume that your nails would be done because you're doing a video. I'm trying not to cry because I don't want to mess this makeup up. Okay. But that's that. I gotta finance me. I mean, a fiance. What? <laughs> I knew you were gonna do that. I've been waiting to say that, y'all. Okay. That is it for this video. I am probably gonna go cry. I gotta clean up my mess, but thank you for watching. Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. If you are excited, give it a thumbs up. <laughs> okay. Bye, guys. No, no, guys. Oh, you just bye. say bye. Sorry. <laughs>